Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to show you how to clean this Krups KM405 programmable 12 cup coffee maker. So Krups does sell their own uh, descaler solution, but I just use white vinegar. You can get these white vinegar jugs, 64 fluid ounces at Walmart for about two bucks. So we're going to put this back in the back where the water goes. I also have this, I've also buy this, this Clearly Coffee. This does not go back where the water goes. This is just for cleaning coffee stains. So inside your, your coffee pot, you may have burnt coffee on the bottom or just maybe starting to get that brown stains on the side that you can't wash off with water. That's what this blue liquid's for. You get it from Amazon, it's about five bucks. And it doesn't take very much. It's concentrated and you wanna leave it concentrated. Make sure you use gloves. You just squirt a little bit in the bottom and then use a kind of like a brush. Let it soak and that coffee uh, stain will just dissolve right off. And it, it does really good on plastic too if you start to get coffee stains. And even up here in your filter basket. So see how it's got that dark uh, coffee stain in? Um, I can put this solution. I'm going to take this over to the sink and put a little solution on there. Let it soak. And then that this is a chemical. So when you're all done, make sure you wash it with uh, soap and water. Okay, so I've got the vinegar. We're going to pour the... Well, first of all, you're going to take out your... Take out your carbon filter. You don't want vinegar running through that. Just set it off to the side. Put this back in. You can put a, a filter, just a plain old filter in here or not it doesn't matter but you're going to dump the vinegar i use about half of this vinegar and my site i can see i got about 10 cups in so then you're going to close the lid and this doesn't have an actual clean function but you just do a brew a normal pot of coffee so just hit the on button brew a pot of coffee now there's two ways of doing it from this point um, you can just brew the vinegar straight through or you can stop this now the manufacturer wants you to brew about half of that vinegar and then go up here and hit the stop button and they want you to let that vinegar soak inside that heating element for about an hour and then they want you just to finish the brew process by turning it back on and then it'll brew the rest of the vinegar. Once you've got all the vinegar brewed, then you're going to dump that vinegar out. I wash this out with some water and soap, and same with the filter basket. And then I run three um, pitcher or three coffee pots of just water through the coffee pot to kind of clean out the vinegar smell and taste. So this whole process takes about takes about an hour. If you let it soak for an hour, it's going to take you a couple hours. So. But that would be the best to do is let it soak. But I'm just going to run this vinegar through, dump it out, and then we're going to run uh, fresh water through. Okay, so it's done running the vinegar through. I'm going to go throw this out and then fill this up with water. Okay, so I'm just going to dump some clean water back here. Like I said, I'm going to run three pots of just clean water through my coffee maker. Coffee pot underneath there, close the lid, turn it off just to cycle it again. I'm going to turn it back on. So once I do three pots, I should have all of the vinegar taste and smell out of there. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.